I mean, he didn't even have a chance to have a good life. I wanted to give him a good life. A five-year-old robbed of his own life. His aunt, Ashley Belcher, shared these photos of her nephew, Ethan, with his older brother. Snapshots of happier times that are now just memories. Tell me about Ethan. What kind of kid was he? He was a really happy, loving, um, very, had a lot of energy, as boys always do. He loved going to the parks with his brother. Ethan Belcher died over the weekend. Investigators believe his biological mom and stepfather beat him to death. This baby suffered some very severe abuse through his life. And I tried to report it last year. I have the, I had pictures. I took them to the hospital myself. Are you surprised at any of this? I'm, I'm appalled. The child's parents, Valeria Hamilton and Shane Shelton, appeared in court Wednesday. They faced murder, child abuse, and torture charges. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office says Detroit police responded to Hamilton's and Shelton's home Sunday for initial reports of an unknown problem. At that time, first responders put Ethan in an ambulance. He died at the hospital. Then at another location, police say they noticed bruises on Ethan's three-year-old brother's head and face. Ashley Belcher says both parents abused Ethan and his three-year-old brother before. The other five children in the home witnessed it repeatedly. Why do you think, no matter how many times you tried to step in and help, it just didn't happen? Uh, I just think the, the CPS just feels like parents or the mothers deserve chance after chance. And I don't see how a mother who allows something like that to happen one time deserves a chance. Ethan's aunt believes the system failed her nephew. She says she tried to take Ethan in but couldn't because she wasn't related to Ethan's younger brother and the courts wanted to keep them together. Ethan's older brother, who was in the photos we shared, is staying with Ashley. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.